These are the most disturbing torture devices I saw at the Torture Museum in Amsterdam. I totally forgot about this one, but we can't leave out the chastity belt. So what is a chastity belt doing in a torture museum? According to the museum labels, many believed women back then wore them when their husbands were away during battles, pilgrimages, or religious crusades. But chastity belts rather function to protect women against being essayed. However, allegedly, some husbands would make their wives wear them so they can keep their wives literally under lock and key to make sure they wouldn't cheat, as there's holes in the belt to allow their wives to go to the bathroom without removing it. This is why the museum label ends with, so we can regard chastity belts as instruments of punishment, not in the sense of the law, but in accordance with the master of the house's unwritten right. Allegedly, there's more evidence that it was used during the Renaissance era, when they were made with padded linings that needed to be changed regularly, or the device would cause infections, wounds, sepsis, or death. I think I have just one or two more devices I saw when I was back in Amsterdam, including this chair that I've been saving for last. So follow to hear all their backstories.